Shaitanirajim, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulihi al-Kareem Rabbi shrahli swadri wa yassirli amri Wa ahlul uqadatan min lisani yafqahu kawli Assalamu alaikum Wa alaikum So yesterday we started the properties of ism Properties of ism So we discussed that uh, there are how many properties of his? Four. four. There are four properties of his. The first one is status. Second one is number. Third one is gender. And uh, fourth one is type. Type. So everybody should know these uh, properties. Inshallah, we will go through all those properties one by one. So today, yesterday we started uh, the property of number, Adad. It is called Adad. So we discussed uh, yesterday duals. No? So an ism can be singular, it can be dual. Dual means pair or double and uh, it can be plural so in in english it is only singular and plural but in arabic it is singular then dual and plural dual is two and plural is more than two singular is singular dual is two and more than two is considered plural okay so we looked into few examples yesterday and we know how to make the dual uh, like from Muslim Muslim is a very common word a common noun Muslim is one Muslim if I say Muslimani two Muslims Muslimani two Muslims similarly Kafir one Kafir and Kafirani two Kafir yeah Muslimah is a is a feminine Muslimah and its uh, dual is muslima taani okay so whenever this ta marbuta comes at the end of an ism it makes it feminine so these are two words are feminine muslima becomes muslima taani and jamila becomes jamila taani and when and we also learned a few more words like bin bin bint is Singular and uh, what would be the dual? Bintani. Imra'a. Imra'a. Imra'a Tani. Imra'a means woman. Rajul. Rajulani. Man and two men. And Ajr is word. And what should be here? Ajrani. Kitab is one book. Two kitab. Kitabani. Kalima. Word. Kalima. And uh, what word? Kalima. Kalima Tani. Very good. Yeah. Habiba. Habiba is the loved one. She or feminine. And what would be the dual? Habiba Tani. Khafifa. Khafif is light. Khafifa. Light. Feminine. And dual is? Ubed Khafifa Tani Saqila Saqila Tani And Jannah Jannah Tani Jannah Tani Jannah is one garden And Jannah Tani Two gardens So this we have learned already So there should be no confusion about duels I think from now onward Look at the board. Let's, uh, uh, let's now start with the uh, uh, plurals. You know? Maybe before I go to that, uh, can somebody tell me what is the difference between verb and noun? Ubaid? Yes. The verb is the uh, action. Yeah. The short action, something happened as action. Yeah. And noun is a name. 
name of place, person, or a thing, or an idea, or pronouns, adverbs. Okay, so these are all nouns. And I also discussed three, three indications of a noun. What are those? It can be more than that, but uh, when you find those indications in a word, it could be there is most. It should be a noun no? most of the time. It starts with it. Yeah, noun can start with an al. There could be some words though, verbs though that might start with an al, but it is part of the word, no? part of the verb, not separately added to the verb. Like uh, alha, alha kumutta kasar. It seems like it is al, but it's the part of the verb. Like alqa, alqa. So this is also part of the verb. It is not added to the verb. When al is added in the beginning to a word, it is always a noun, not verb. It is always a noun. When a word has an al in the beginning, it is added to it, it is always a noun. And what is the third, uh, second? Yeah, so it has a, uh, the noun can have a tanveen at the end. It could have a double zabar, double j, double page at the end. Okay? Similarly, uh, if a word has a ta marbuta or round ta, then it is always a noun, not a word. <coughs> So there could uh, it could be there could be now no indication it does if even doesn't have al or tamarbuta or uh, tanveen it could still be a noun but we have to know that but these are just few indications when you find those then it is definitely a noun okay let's uh, talk about uh, now types of plural. So we know that uh, a number can be singular, dual and plural. Dual we have already studied. And plural, there are three kinds of plural. There are three kinds of plural. First one is called solid plural. Solid plural. It is jama salim. Jama salim. And the other one is, second one is called broken plural or jama mukassar. And the third one is called Ism Jama. Ism Jama. Like uh, it is a group of people, like, uh, like Qaum, Qaum, nation, uh, Karn. Karn is a uh, town. Town has a lot of people in it. So it is. Karn is, could be a generation as well. Karn, gen, generation. generation as well as. Town is Kariya. Kariya, yeah. Generation. Nas, the people. People is also a. Uh, plural or jama. So these kinds of words that represents a group of people, a group of things, those are also are plural. These are called ism jama. Or collective nouns. Or collective nouns. Collective nouns, yeah. So solid plural, solid plural, uh, it has also two types. One is called uh, masculine plural and the second one is feminine plural masculine plural and feminine this is a solid plural it is solid because the word doesn't change we just add few things in the end so then it its plural is made like muslim muslim its plural is muslim. muslimun we we know this and we also learned in our TPI that uh, the, there it has also a second plural that is Muslimin. For Muslimin, we would also learn when we talk about status why it is Muslimun and a Muslimin. It should be coming, inshallah. So, Muslim is uh, singular and Muslimun is plural. And Muslimin is also a plural of that. So, we know that. Uh, Meme, seen, lam, and meme. These memes, lam, meme. These all the letters are there na, in this in this plural. And we just added una. We just added una or ina. 
its plural becomes. So Muslim becomes Muslimuna, Muslimina. Okay? So this is the masculine plural. Masculine. Uh, <clears throat> then the second type is feminine plural. Feminine. So Muslim has a feminine of Muslima. Muslima. So we just <coughs> added this ta marbuta at the end. It's feminine. Uh, Muslima. So the plural is Muslimat. Muslimat. We added at. We added at at the end. Muslimat. So this is Muslimatun or Muslimati. Eh? Yeah, it should be. Well, we would not talk about at this stage. So this, I talked about this thing because we know we know from our TPI. That's why I did. But Ta should have something. Muslimat could be Muslimatun or Muslimati because it can, cannot be without any haraka. Yeah, you are right. As but because I am skipping that part, yeah. status yeah. part, that's why I am not adding Muslim it. Muslim is Muslimun. So, yeah. is Muslimun and yeah. Muslimatun. So you can say that uh, the uh, default status could be Muslimatun. Default, Muslimatun. Okay? So Muslimah becomes Muslimatun. Okay, Th that is the solid plural or jama mukassar solid plural or jama mukassar similarly if i say kafir what should be the kafirun kafirin and uh, the feminine is kafira what should be the plural kafira kafirat kafira mu'min mu'min mu'minun mu'minin and what is the feminine? Mu'amina. And what would be the plural? Mu'aminat. So this is the solid plural. So the indication for solid plural is that it has a una or ina at the end or has a atun. Atin. Atun at the end. At at the end. Okay? So this this is called solid plural. Uh, let's talk about broken plural. So broken plurals are also of two types. These are called broken. So there is a certain pattern, they follow a pattern, but broken plurals do not follow a pattern. This also happens in English. So in English, like the plural for chair is? Yes. Cheers. We add S at the end. Table. Similarly, if I say table, table plural is? Tables. Tables. We added ES at the end. So this is the normal pattern for making plural in English. But if I say man, man, man. what is the plural? Man. 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 So the rule is broken. We do not say man's. Do we say? No. So this is a kind of? Broken plural. Similarly, we say tooth. Tooth. We do not say tooths in English as a plural. So the plural is teeth. Like goose, not gooses. It is geese. Similarly, child. Child, <laughs> not child's. Plural is children. So similarly, in Arabic also, there are words or ism that do not follow a certain pattern. So those plurals are called broken. broken plurals. Okay? So there are two types of broken plurals. One is called human broken plural. The second one is called non-human broken plural. So human broken plurals are like kafir has a uh, solid plural like kafirun. It has a coffee room, but its broken plural is kuffar. Kuffar, when you see kuffar, it is a broken plural. Similarly, rasul, messenger. Its plural is not rasulun, rasulin. Plural is rusul, rusul. Rajul is a man, one man. Not rajulun, rajulin. Plural is rijal. Men. 
Okay, so these are uh, human broken plurals. So these human broken plurals uh, can be treated as as is, or these can be treated as he. So the rule for uh, broken plural is that they they are treated as third person singular feminine gender. Their verbs actually, their verbs or pronouns. They are treated as third person singular feminine gender. Okay, so the example uh, for human broken plurals, they can be treated as is, like masculine, or they can be treated as feminine. So the both types they can be used. Like jaat uh, rusulan rusulana. Ja means he came. Jaat. She came. <coughs> Rusulu, Rusulana. Rusulana means our, our messengers. Our messengers. So Jaat Rusulana, our messengers came. It can also be Jaa Rusulana. So both ways it can be used. You know? So these human broken plurals can be treated as masculine as well as feminine. Then there are uh, non-human broken, broken plurals. Those plurals that are not human, those are non-human, like kitab. Kitab, its plural is kutub. Kitab is one book, kutub is books. Palm. Kalm is pen. Aqlam is pens. Palb. Palb is Heart, its plural is Kulub. So these also do not follow this regular pattern of a solid plural. So these are all broken plural and these are non human broken plurals. So non human broken plurals are always treated as she or feminine gender. So like Kasabat Kulubukum. Kasaba means? Ha, kasaba, he earned. He earned. Kasabat, she earned. She earned. Kulub, Our heart. hearts. Kalb is one heart, Kulub is hearts. Kulubukum, your, your hearts. So your hearts earned. So because Kulub is, Kulub is plural and it is a broken plural, that is why this Kasabat is used. It is not Kasaba, it is Kasabat. Kasabat kulubukum. She. she. Kasabat means she. And so, because this is broken plural. So, these broken plurals, there is a rule for that. So, these are treated as third person, singular, feminine gender. Third person, singular, feminine gender. So, did you see this kulub is a plural word? Yes. The verb used is kasabat, is a singular. Singular it is singular, person. kasaba, he and kasabat, she and she is singular, na? but kulub is plural. So this uh, singular is used, it is also a third person, she, third person, and it is also feminine, and it is a singular. So third person, singular, feminine. Okay? So all these uh, non human broken plurals are treated as. Um, Third person, singular, feminine. Clear? Clear. Everything. So, three kinds of plurals. One is solid plural, the other is broken plural, and third one is uh, collective plurals or ism jama. Ism jama. So, solid plural indication is una, ina at the end. If it is feminine, it is at the end. And uh, if it is a broken plural, there is no set, set pattern. We have to remember those ones. So, but we should know that uh, broken plurals, non-human, all the non-human broken plurals are treated as third person singular feminine gender. And human broken plurals can also be treated as third person singular feminine gender. Okay. 
debate is. Yeah, as debate is, yeah. So in Arabic we say aqil and ghair aqil. Yeah, we say aqil and ghair aqil. Yeah. Aqil and ghair aqil. Let's uh, maybe do some practice. We can add one thing, if yeah. you allow me. Sure. That non-human jama salim. Non-human jama salim. Like jannat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? They, they are also treated as uh, third person, singular, family. Yeah, they yeah, are this. Not broken, yeah. But we treat them as they are broken. Broken, yeah. Like so because non human, yeah, here and maybe non human, uh, solid plurals, they are also treated as uh, third person, singular, feminine gender. Yeah. <laughs> So, Abid, Abid, who can tell me what is the plural of Abid? Abid. We learned this. Abidun, Abidin. So, this one is, what, what kind of plural? Solid plural. Solid plural. Solid. Jama Salim. And Abida. 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 What kind of plural it is? Jama Salim. Jama Salim. Salim, like Muslima, Muslimat. This Amal. Amal. Amal, is it? What is the plural of Amal? Amal. Amal. What kind of plural it is? Jama Mukassar. Is it human or non human? Non human. Good. Yeah. Zawj. What is the plural? Ubaid Zawj, plural? Azwaj. So is it a broken plural or solid plural? Uh, solid. Solid? Is it una ina comes at the end? Uh, so is it solid now? Uh, broken. Broken. What kind of broken? Is it human or non human? Is it? Human. Is it? Human. Yeah. And so it could be for animals as well. As well, yeah. They are ghair aqil. Yes. So it could be aqil and ghair aqil. Both, okay. Ah, yeah. Ayat. Ayat. Ayat, like here. Now, but this is uh, non human. Aya is a non human. So it would be treated as according to this rule. No? Shaheed. Shaheed. Muhammad Shaheed, plural? Shuhada. So Shuhada is a broken plural or solid plural? Solid? Broken. Or is some jama? What kind of plural it is? Shaheed. Tell me now. Make your mind. Broken. Broken plural. So, it doesn't have una or ina at the end. No? If there is no una, <coughs> ina, and atun, so it is uh, broken plural. And what kind of broken plural? It is human or non-human? Human. Human broken plural. Vaj. Vaj is face. Vaj. What is the plural? Anybody knows? Buju. 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 Buju is? Uh, so this one is? Mukassar. Jama Mukassar. Non-human broken plural. Okay. Masjid. What is the plural uh, masjid? Can you do? Masajid. So masajid is uh, uh, which kind of plural? Solid. No, there is no own or in. Does it have masjidun or masjidun? Is it masjidun, masjidin? No. So what kind of it is? Broken. broken. Which kind of broken plural from non these? Non-human broken plural. Uh, Bab. Bab is? Uh, Ibrahim, what is the meaning of Bab? Door. Bab. Door. 
door. So, what is the plural? Bua. <laughs> In Punjabi. Bua is uh, its plural is Abwaab. So, Bab plural is Abwaab. So, it is also a broken plural, a non human. Now, Khalid. Khalid. Solid. Burak Khalid. What is the plural of Khalid? Khalidun Khalidin. So is it a solid plural or broken plural? Solid. Huh? Solid. Why solid? Because huh? Una. Una is coming at the end. Una or Ina. Khaliduna Khalidina. Khalid is the one who lives forever. Is Khalid. Naha. Nahar. Brother Munir, do you know what is the plural? Anhar. Nahar. Anhar. So it is also a broken plural. Uh, and non human. Sajid. Sajid. Sajidum. Is it? Solid. Solid. Sajidin. Sajidin. Ayn. Ayn. Brother. Ayun. And Ayun. So in Quran, this uh, plural is used, two types of plural is used. One is ayun, ayun means eye. Its plural is eyes, ayun, ayun for eyes. And when ayun is used, it is used for spring, spring, chashma, yeah. Munafik, munafik, brother Azhar. Munafik, this is a solid. Solid plural, good. Nabi. Brother, Ambiya, Ambiya. So Ambiya is broken plural of Nabi. Alim, brother Tariq, Alim. Alimun, Alimin. So this one is solid plural. It also has a broken plural. And this Alim also has a broken plural. Ulama, Ulama. Ulama. The one who knows. Like kafir, you see kafir, kafirun kafirin. It has a broken plural, kuffar. Similarly, alim, alimun, alimin. It is a solid plural and also has a broken plural like ulama. ulama. Next one is abd. Abd. Ibad. Abd? Ibad. Abd means? Abd means? Slave. Slave. Abd means? Slave. Or servant. Jannah. Jannah. What is the plural? Jannah. Brother Naveed. Is it a solid plural or broken plural? It's a broken plural. It is Jannah. Like Muslimah, Muslimat. But this is a non-human, non-human, solid plural. So that's why it should be also treated according to that rule. Jannah, Jannat. Amr. Amr? Amr. Amr means order. What is the... Amr. Umur. Umur. Amar is to order. To order. Umur. Orders, you can say. What was the abd? Slave. Ibad. Ibad. Ibadillah is Salihin. We know this. Abd. Ibad. Yeah. So these are few examples from Quran. First one is Vujuhi Yawma is in Naima. So Vujuh is used. On that day many faces will be happy. Happy Naim. Naima Yan Amu Naim. Naima, the one who is happy, feminine. Feminine is used because of Vujuh. 
This is Lahum Jannatun Tajri Min Tahtihal Anhar. This is very famous, comes in Quran many times. For them are gardens, Tajri, she flows, Min, from Tahtiha, under them Al Anhar, the rivers. For, <coughs> for them are gardens, rivers flow under them. Okay? So Tajri so, is for. Tajri is? For Anhar or Jannat? Uh, that's tajri for Anhar. So she flows. She flows, she yeah, that is why she is used. And Tahtiha is for this Ha, Tahtiha again, Rogam Yeah, yeah Tahtiha is. Jannah, Jannat is used, it is the plural of Jannah. And Anhar is used, it is the plural Nahar. Vama yajhadu bi ayatina illal kafirun. Wa and ma not jahada ya jahadu. He he denied also. He denied. He argued. Be with ayat. Ayat is plural of ayah. Ayatina our verses. Illa except al kafirun. Al kafirun is plural, solid plural. And this ayat is ayat is but. It is also solid purula. Yeah. And no one denies our signs except the disbelievers. Okay? So these are the few examples. So we should know uh, the solid plural and broken plural <coughs> very well. Because broken plurals are used in Quran many times and we should know that they are treated as third person, singular, feminine gender. This is the main rule to understand. And also, uh, solid yeah. plural? Solid plural, non-human, solid, uh, feminine plurals are also treated like uh, third person, singular. Feminine gender. Non, 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 non human feminine plurals like Jannat, Ayat. Okay, so these ones are also treated according to this rule. Would you please repeat the meaning of Wujuho On that day, many faces, Wuju, many faces, or faces will be happy. Will be happy. Some faces will be happy. Some faces will be happy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, any questions? Good. Let's move on to our next part. So we are on Salah, Salati.